In this video, I will be discussing all of the audio player features and settings in Mobile Sheets. In order to demonstrate those features, two pre-configured songs will be used that each contain two audio files. For instructions on adding audio files to a song, please watch the tutorial video titled Adding Audio Files to Songs. After a song has been loaded and the overlay has been displayed, we can see the audio player in the middle of the screen. To begin, we will first discuss the audio player layout options. At the top right corner of the audio player, an icon with the current layout number is shown. If that icon is tapped, it will cycle the audio player between the different layouts. There are three different layouts for the audio player, small, medium, and large. In the large layout, a list of all the currently loaded audio tracks is displayed. The current audio track can be changed by tapping on a track in the list. By default, only the audio tracks from the currently visible song will be loaded. If the icon with the three notes is tapped, Mobile Sheets will instead load all audio tracks from all songs in the current set list. To switch back to the previous mode, tap the single note icon. To edit the song that uses the currently selected audio track, tap the edit icon. This will bring up the song editor, which can be used to add or remove audio tracks as needed. Next, we will discuss the controls that affect the audio playback. The eight icons at the bottom of the audio player are mostly self-explanatory. However, a few things should be mentioned. If the play icon is tapped while audio is currently playing, it will reset the playback position to the start of the audio track. The repeat icon controls whether the current track or entire playlist will be repeated. Tapping the icon multiple times will cycle through the available modes. The AB repeat icon determines whether the AB looping feature is enabled for the current audio track. The best way to create a loop is to have the audio playing, tap the A icon once to set the start position of the loop, then tap the same icon again to set the end position of the loop. The icon will change from an A to a B after it is tapped to indicate which point is being set. I will now demonstrate creating a loop point. While AB looping is enabled, red lines indicate where the loop points are in the current track. A loop can be created while AB looping is disabled, but the red lines will not appear and the audio track will not loop. The next feature we will discuss is pitch shifting. To raise or lower the pitch of an audio track, tap the pitch shifting icon, and then use the slider or tap the minus and plus icons to adjust the pitch offset. The pitch can be adjusted from negative 12 to positive 12, and each increment is a half interval. The pitch shifting will not take effect until the OK button is tapped. Similar to the pitch shifting, the tempo can also be adjusted by tapping the tempo icon. The tempo adjustment will not change the pitch of the audio, so the two features can be used at the same time. To mute the current playback, tap the volume icon. It is also possible to adjust the panning position of the audio by tapping the panning icon and then moving the slider to the desired position. If audio is panned completely to one side, an option is displayed to output mono audio, which will increase the volume. To move the audio player, press on the move icon and then drag the audio player to the desired position. Mobile Sheets will save this position and restore it if the app is closed and restarted. To hide the audio player, tap the X icon at the top right. The audio player will then only be shown if the audio player icon is tapped in the song overlay or quick action box. To view additional settings for the audio player, 
tap the settings icon at the top right corner. The fade out drop down controls whether the audio player is always visible, is only shown with the overlay, or automatically fades out after five seconds. By default, the player will always fade out completely. If desired, the fade out completely option can be disabled and then the transparency of the audio player can be adjusted. To demonstrate, we have set the audio player to fade out after five seconds with 50% transparency. If any part of the audio player is tapped, the player will become fully visible and will only fade out again after five seconds of inactivity. Back in the settings dialog, the track list dropdown indicates whether just the current song's audio tracks are loaded or tracks from all songs in the current set list. This setting can also be controlled through the three note icon in the track list as described earlier. To enable crossfading between tracks, tap the crossfade tracks checkbox and then set the duration for the crossfade. This will ensure that the current audio track fades out as the next track starts playing. If the show playback time on page setting is enabled, Mobile Sheets will display the current playback position in the top right corner of the screen. The Show Artist with Title checkbox determines whether Mobile Sheets will display track names with the artist at the beginning. The Automatically Play Audio When Song is Loaded checkbox is a little different than the other settings as it must be set individually for each song. This determines if Mobile Sheets will immediately start playing the audio when the song is displayed. This setting can also be found on the audio tab of the song editor. The last setting is the Use Advanced Audio Player setting. This determines whether Mobile Sheets will use a custom audio engine to play back audio tracks or the standard audio engine that comes with the Android operating system. Most users will never need to adjust this setting. However, if you experience any undesired noises or have unexpected behavior, turning this setting off can often resolve those problems. While most users will only need to interact with the audio player using the standard UI, there are many other options for controlling the audio player. If the Quick Action box is tapped at the bottom right corner of the screen, a play icon is displayed which can be tapped to start or stop audio playback, or long press to display the audio player. Audio playback can also be started or stopped using a touch, pedal, or MIDI action. You can also go to the previous or next track in the same manner. Smart buttons will be discussed in detail in another video, but they can also be used to start or stop audio, as well as playback audio at a specific start time for any track in the song. The audio player in Mobile Sheets can be a very powerful tool when used for backing tracks or learning new songs. With the large number of settings and actions, you can configure the audio player to work exactly the way you want. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in Mobile Sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.